Hello and welcome to another visual technical official, your honest guide to the cryptoverse. Today I'm going to talk about Serenity Shield, which is a self custodial privacy centric data storage and it's built on a you know different blockchain network for uh, options like inheritance and using technology to protect people against sensitive uh, data, confidentiality, and sensitive information, uh, like a passport wallet and also you can hide your uh, sensitive information like financial information medical information and things like that uh, users have full control over their data and they can plan uh, what happens and when they can uh, have or not have no longer access to the data depending on their own consent basically and it's a very important sort of project because people care a lot right now about privacy their personal information their PIR and these sort of things are getting shared by different companies. So having that technology brought to Web3 uh, from the Web2 space would be really cool. And, uh, you know, if you go to their website as well, you can see more information uh, on the Strongwas, which is a secure multi-chain data storage. You can try it right now, the tool itself, and learn more about it if you want. It's very simple steps. So you store and manage access to all your sensitive data using the DAP for Strongbox. Then you get a, uh, I guess, recovery phase for the hardware. And uh, then you have the ownership of your data transfer to designated nominees if you need via the Strongbox inheritance protocol, obviously, because we don't know how long we are alive. Now, I'm not going to go through this one for a, a lot because obviously um, it's beyond the scope of the video. But some of the benefits include storing, managing, and recovering confidential data, high scalability up to one petabyte, uh, military-grade encryption, smart uh, contract that's audited by hacker and digital NFT keys with real utility, uh, full access uh, to the project anywhere, and also a fully automated blockchain solution. Now, also jumping into the business model, they uh, basically have information protection, they have active Strongbox account, data retrieval, and then commercial licensing fee as uh, some of the ways that they do it. Uh, also, you can go to the website to get more information about the team and tool and everything you need. Uh, they have a whole education platform, which is really cool, actually, and, uh, you know, general inquiries that you have. Or you could go to Change GPT, Pool, or Engine Starter website to get more information. I personally prefer the uh, Change GPT one, obviously. Now, uh, in terms of uh, the roadmap itself, so the concept was uh, designed in 2021, and they did a strategic investment received in April, and they got a big money, actually, 1.2 million in uh, 2021. In April, they got the patent pending and then um, towards the 2022 they uh, finalized further fundraising the mvp of the product and then in 2023 they launched uh, the token on mainnet the the product on mainnet and then the token itself in q4 is going to be launching and the further product development basically is um, on the table now in terms of the team and partners before we jump to tokenomics uh venket and he's available on linkedin he's done many many amas you can see him everywhere he's the ceo and founder of the team and uh, the cpo it, it himself is uh, boris monfred and they have a huge number of people working with them in their operating team and again if you're interested to know more about the team you can always uh, come here and get their details and they're all on linkedin they're all docs and they're all experienced in their fields actually which is really good from different countries and uh, there's a lot of as you can see here from these guys media releases and pr information as well uh, as you can see in different events and activities and you can test their mainnet as well so that's about the team and then in terms of partners um Actually, this roadmap was cooler. I should have maybe gone through this one, but anyway. Um, in terms of the partners, they also have um, Alternate Work with Lucas, Magic Square, Chiron Labs, uh, Conterra, Market Across, Pools, Engine Starter, Decubate, Sigurd Network, VLaunch, Hacken, um, Chain GPT as also one of the main pa partners that they have. Um, and Strongbox, which is the products that they have. So they've got a pretty decent partnership formed in the space of Web3, Web2, 
security, uh, market making, and um, NFT as well as uh, launchpad space. Now, in terms of token metrics itself, the token actually changed a few times in terms of tokenomics. So to be honest, I can't go through a significant amount of detail for you, uh, but basically the total number of uh, supply is a hundred million token. The token is called Search or Serenity Shield. 25% uh, is for ecosystem and marketing. 25% uh, is public sale and liquidity. 15% uh, is participant for seed. A team and advisor have 8% and the rest is private sale. Now, uh, I can't obviously go through this one because uh, the tokenomics has changed a little bit here. So I'll I'll be more focusing only on the public round rather than the previous rounds that they have. So I, I, I have the tokenomics, but I can't share again because it might be changed or old. So um, it might be a bit of a confusion if I go through it. But in terms of the public round itself, it is a price of uh, 20 cents. And you can see that across different places at 20 cents at the... Uh, fully diluted value of 20 million as they have a total of 100 million tokens for the total supply. So fully that to the value of 20 million and then 15% of the token will be unlocked on TG one month cliff and then six months linear vesting. Um, they also have a KOL round. I think it's at 16 cents at 10% uh, unlock and a cliff of a month and then eight months linear vesting. So that's the the other one and then initial market cap for the project is going to be under 200k so just around uh, 195,000 um, and the other rounds again I don't want to share but the other rounds that they have is not uh, as good as public and it's a call round so to be honest public has a really good advantage in terms of price and vesting when I checked it out so that's why again do your own research but i i will invest you know because of that and also because it's an optional refund so not much risk basically to have so that's uh i guess about the tokenomics part and token metrics and uh, obviously the token itself has a lot of utility in the platform which um it's a security product and uh, again you, you have to go to the whole academy if you want to learn more uh, about what's the utility of the token or go to the white paper and again they, they have all the details quite accessible but it's just beyond the scope of this video uh, today for me to go through it now in terms of uh, the IDO and the social side they have 75,000 followers on the Twitter and you can see a lot of my friends and people I know are following them so it means they are basically quite well known in the space right now and uh, in terms of the telegram they've got 18,000 members and uh, they have been actually featured by a few big influencers um, obviously I cannot name them because it's a bit of a conflict with my project but um, they they have been mentioned actually actively in a few places so that's a very good sign because people know them and will be looking forward to them um, in terms of launch pads, they're going to be launching on Decubate, Engine Starter, so uh, Pools and Chain GPT. So the sale on Engine Starter is going to happen on the 13th of December for a 200k raise. Register interest of on the 8th to 9th. On Pools Finance, the uh, IDO and register interest is going to be in four days from now. So that's actually, I think, also 13th, interestingly. So on the 13th, they'll be raising uh, 200, uh, 250, I think. Let's see how much they're raising in pools. I think they're raising 250. Okay, 250 also in pools. And then Chain GPT will have their sale happening um, on the so 12 is the interest period and then on the 14th. So for Chain GPT, what you need to do is register your interest between now until the 12th of December for me it says 11 p.m but for you if your UTC time it's basically 12 noon UTC is the deadline for you 12th of December to register your interest once you register your interest on the 14th of December you can start uh, swapping your tokens and uh, first, uh, the, the pre-sale starts on the 13th the swap starts on the 14th first come first serve starts on the 15th 
Now, in terms of the also token um, raise, you need to know that the token will be claimable on the 18th of December because they're going to list on Gate and a few other exchanges, as well as PancakeSwap on Binance Chain. Overall, of course, now looks like a gaming hype has happened again in this mini bull run sort of market. Um, but this is a product that's a long-term solution. You know, product is live, is being used by people. They have received awards for it and funding. So I think it's a legitimate project and it's definitely worth investigating and uh, do your own research, obviously, in terms of investment. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions, please write down in the comment section. I'll, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you very much for watching this video and I see you next time.